I am here with State Champs, the band formerly known as the Sex Pistols. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Oh, we're doing awesome, awesome, man. Doing really, really well. So I'm going to start this off right away. You guys have a new album out. It's called Kings of the New Age. I have been seeing this album everywhere. I'm used to when I walk into Target seeing Mariah Carey and Bruce Springsteen on the screen, but you guys are front and center in the media section. How does it feel being a pop punk band, being in a major outlet like that, and they're actually promoting you? Feels great. Feels good to be on top, you know? And to, it's a really good cool, <laughs> Might be like really cool your thing. kings. <laughs> yeah, yeah no. um, it's cool to see, you know, we get texts from our family or pictures sent like, oh, I saw you guys at Target again, or you guys, are, you know, like there, there's no more CDs left on the shelf. Yeah. So we're like telling yeah. people to restock it. Make mm-hmm. sure you- so then yeah. tell but- us a little bit about this album and the direction you decided to go on it. Was there an influence over the past few years and everything going on? Or did you kind of stick to what your core is and just keep rolling with that? Um, I mean, it's definitely like a, a reflection over the last like few years, like through pandemic and right before it, when we were like nonstop touring into getting through the pandemic and things that have happened with us personally. But ultimately, sonically, I think it kind of goes back to our roots a little bit. We kind of like looked into what got us here in the first place, what grew this community and our fan base up to this point now, 10 years into being a band. So we kind of thought back to, yeah, let's not think too much about it and do what we're good at, which is like on the nose, like energy high energy pop punk and stuff that we want to listen to ourselves yeah. so that was the that was the idea going into it in yeah. the first place we were also super cognizant of the fact that the pandemic was like extremely challenging for a lot of people mentally and a lot of like sad bedroom pop came out of it which is cool but we felt as though people could have used like a breath of fresh air and something a little more positive yeah, that makes sense so this question is going mostly towards ryan so <laughs> We were actually on the road together years ago on this thing called Extreme Tour. Uh, you're trying to get a better look at who I am. I thought that was you. Yep. So <laughs> I remember from that tour, you guys were huge Pokemon nerds. And you were always playing and you got tattoos together. Is that still something you're super into? Yeah, I mean, definitely is. Pokemon is always going to be some part of my life i guess I, I don't play the card game competitively anymore i'm not like uh i'm not even really playing pokemon go i just so i'm just a fan now. i'm nice. I'm, a, I'm a very casual pokemon fan now yeah so what other fandoms are you guys into clearly i'm with marvel and horror and all that and i have a pokemon card but uh what are you guys kind of checking out what were you doing over the pandemic to kind of keep your sanity um, some of us are sports guys and we dove into a lot of video games when we were in the pandemic as well. We did some streaming on Twitch and stuff and grew our fan base and kept them kind of like active through the pandemic. So, but I'm a big hockey nerd myself. Nice. What team? The Dallas Stars, even though I'm wearing a Colorado yeah. hat shirt. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just, you're, a, you're a Magic fan. Yeah, I, lo- I love Magic the Gathering. I've actually played a, a decent amount over the pandemic with my family and like my brothers and stuff when we nice. could. And, uh. So I do love that quite a bit. That and motocross. That's my magic card good. right there. I was never that good. I'm definitely a casual player, but. When they came out with like that Godzilla version of everything over the pandemic, yes. that was pretty cool. But yeah, that was my game that I spent way too much money on. Oh yeah. You, you, you can spend a ton. I, in my opinion, it's the best game ever created. So. <laughs> I'll, I'm with you on that one. We got one more guy. Unless you hate oh, everything. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're pretty close for sure. Um. I'm definitely a bit of a hater at times, but we're working on it. Uh, you like stuff. I like stuff. I, I like to play video games, of course. Who doesn't? But uh, I actually spent a lot of time like building other skills because Pandemic for me was it, it kind of showed me how fast this can all go away. Oh yeah. Um. So I, I started teaching myself how to code so I can like build web pages and stuff. It's nothing too crazy, but I, I can like do do stuff like that now. So um, you're a crypto that, that was guy. Much- no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think I think it's a theory, but I mean, it having it, it's yeah, it, it's interesting. On, on on USD value, it's not gonna make anything Isn't decentralized crypto not ever cool anymore. It's just crashing. It, it's in a crash right now. Yeah. So you guys were just on Sad Summer. What do you guys have coming up? Maybe the end of this year or 2023. If you can't mention it, don't. But I'm sure people want to know where they can see you next and what else is going on. 
well, we're not going to stop touring. We're always on the road. So check the dates, check your city. And we haven't been able to do a proper, a new album, Kings of the New Age headline tour yet. So that's what's going to be next for us. And we'll see you guys all over the U.S. And if we haven't come to your city, if you live anywhere in the world, hopefully we'll be there soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. One more thing. And I completely just forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> nice. So, oh, if you could, taking out all the bands that you've already toured with. So there's no competition so to speak if you could tour with any band dead alive old new who would it be go first band we're talking band we're talking artist we're talking that could be band artist singer songwriter anything anything goes oh man this is like the this is like such a hard question because my mind always immediately goes to like modern day like what do i like like what Mm -hmm. what do i think would be like good for our band so that's the way I'm going to answer this question. I, I said somebody like somebody like a Post Malone. So somebody who's, you know, pop, who, who reaches, you know, hip hop, who reaches the alternative world. There's a lot of crossover there. And, and honestly, it just seems like a pretty down to earth, cool guy. So I feel like doing a tour with, with Post Malone would be pretty cool for our band. It's a pretty honestly. solid answer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say Paramore because they're making a comeback soon. They're doing a new album and we want to be on the tour and on the long for the ride. There you go. That's a great answer as well. I would say I'm going to pick a current one as well. The band Camino. Uh, I I absolutely love, absolutely love their stuff right now. I think it'd be a great tour to be on. I'm throw it back. I said Nirvana yesterday. I'm going to say Nirvana again. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Want to tour so I was going to say you should try and put a tour together with all of them. But now that you've mentioned Nirvana, that's going to be a little hard. Yeah. Uh, so a fictional tour, but that's that would be quite the package. <laughs> that would be a very <laughs> expensive <laughs> ticket. Nirvana can be the house music between the bands. Yes. So it's work. <laughs> there you go. You have it. Before we wrap this up, because I know you guys are very busy. You are in the studio right now. What is something you either want to tell your fans, whether it's personal or if there's something that, you know, is going on right now, whatever you guys want to tell people now is the time to do it. Um, well, whether you just found out about us or you've been a diehard and been with us for, you know, however long over the past 10 years or however long you've known us, um, just thank you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for coming to shows. Thanks for buying t-shirts. Thanks for giving a, blank i don't know if we can swear um, swear and we will bleep it <laughs> giving a <laughs> um because we <laughs> couldn't do it without you and you guys are the reason that we get to do this for a living and we're not going to stop unless you guys stop caring so thank you well thank you guys so much for being on the show i really appreciate it and so does everybody watching we will keep up to date with everything you have going on and everyone make sure you check them out on spotify instagram twitter all that and be sure to check out their upcoming tour dates so you can see them live and in person. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.